Muawiyah, where did he come from? Many of us today believe that Muawiyah is the son of Abu Sufyan. And this is not a fact. This is not a historical fact. There is not one piece of evidence that will prove to you Muawiyah is the son of Abu Sufyan. Let me clarify to you where exactly he came from. Muawiyah, when he came into this world, pay attention to me. When he came to this world, there were four people that were attributed to Muawiyah. Four people. One of them was Abu Sufyan. The second person was Amara, the son of Walid, the son of Al Mughira Al Makhzumi. Second person. The third person was Musafir, the son of Umaru. He was also said to be the father of Muawiyah. And the fourth was Umar ibn al Khattab. The fourth was Umar ibn al Khattab. You see this fact here. This fact tells you why Muawiyah became the leader afterwards. Because his father was not someone from here and there. They were all leaders in the Umayyad dynasty. Either founders for it or leaders. And Umar ibn Khattab, he did not take tax from two people. One of them was Qunfud and the second was Muawiyah. And when Imam Ali alayhi salam was asked, why is it that Umar ibn Khattab did not take tax from Qunfud? Imam Ali said he did not take tax from him because of the hit he gave Fatima to Zahra alayhi salam. A gift to him. And the second was because there is something between Muawiyah and Umar. And later on we find that they inherit each other. This is Muawiyah. Moving on to Ziyad ibn Abi. And how did Abu Sufyan, let me go back. How did Abu Sufyan become the father of Muawiyah? They got all of them together. Musafir ibn Umar, Amar ibn Walid, Umar ibn al-Khattab and Abu Sufyan. They put them all together and they made a draw, a Qur'ah. They wrote their names. And they said, Whoever's name comes out of this, he will spend on Muawiyah. He's not our son. Whoever's name comes out of this, he will spend on him. And therefore, the name of Abu Sufyan came. They said, take him. Take him, Abu Sufyan, we spend on him. This is Muawiyah. Secondly, brothers, I'm, I'm, I'm explaining a fact. Huh? You can laugh, but I'm explaining a fact. Secondly, we find Ziyad, the son of who? His father, Ibn Abihi. Type, who's his father? Ziyad, the son of his father, what does he want this one? Ziyad, his mother gave, gave birth to him in the castle or in the home of Ubaid, one of the leaders, Umara of Thaqif. She gave birth to him in his home. But Ubaid said, he's not my son. Type, whose son is he? Who does he belong to? Nobody knows. Therefore, they made a draw. And they said, we will call him Ziyad, the son of Ubaid. Later on, Muawiyah, so he can benefit from him. He said to him, come, I believe that you are the son of Abu Sufyan. Therefore, you are my brother. And these matters, you can find them. Number one, by Al-Alam Al-Hilli, in Nahj Al-Haq. The first one regarding Muawiyah, which I mentioned. And the second was mentioned by Al-Asqalani, in Mathalib Al-Arab, by Ziyad ibn Abi. And the third, for example, Amr ibn al-As. When you take a look at Amr ibn al-As, what is the problem with him? The problem is that nobody is called by al-As. There's no such thing. You find in Nahj al-Balagha, it is mentioned that Abu Sufyan used to tell Amr, he tells him, you are my son. You are my son. You have turned out exactly just like me. Therefore, when you take a look at Nahj al balagh and the writings of Al-Alam al hilli and who they refer to, you find that no one that can oppose Ahl al-Bayt, number one, number two, number three, Muawiyah, Yazid, all of them, except that they are of haram birth. And no one can be an answer for Abu Abdullah al-Hussein, except that they are from halal birth. 